Meanwhile, the president now taking a major stand, banning European travel for at least 30 days. ABC Action News reporter Jasmine Stiles, she joins us now live from Tampa International Airport with the new protocol and Homeland Security's immediate clarifications on all of this. Jasmine. Well, Tampa International has three direct flights to European cities that are on that no-fly list. The president's remarks had many people scrambling to cancel their own flights or working to get loved ones home. We do know that this ban starts on Friday at midnight, but there was some immediate clarification, not only from Homeland Security, but even the Trump administration. They clarify some of the president's main points. This ban applies to most foreign nationals who have been in certain European countries two weeks before coming to the U.S. This should not affect American citizens and their immediate families who undergo proper screening. In a statement, Homeland Security's acting secretary states he will put out more protocol on how to deal with Americans who have been in affected areas in the next two days. Now, while that was vague, he did say Americans will be subject to traveling to select airports to go through enhanced screening. Another thing about this ban that stuck out was a major European travel exception, the UK. Now, the president didn't explain why he singled that country out, especially especially seeing that there are 450 confirmed cases. We're live in Tampa. I'm Jasmine Stiles, ABC Action News.